Hello, this is Don with Dynamo Services, and I want to talk about aerators and a few other um, things I have on the trailer. Um, this aerator is a split tine aerator, meaning the tines in the back, they are split, and you're able to turn um, this machine while it's still in the ground. I rented, uh, before I bought this aerator, I rented um, the ones that were just straight tine where you had to lift it to turn it. Um, and I would not buy that machine new. There's no way that I would pay uh, $3,000 for a machine like that new when you could find a good used split tine aerator like I have found here. I bought this, um, I bought this two years ago. It was in the middle of winter. Um, this machine does have a 6.5 Honda engine, which is a pretty strong Honda engine on an aerating machine. Um, the reason being is because you're able to put a sluggy on this machine and drive it around. I only paid $600 for this machine. Um, because I bought it at the right time, um, and the reason why I bought an aerator was because, um, I would get people every, you know, I would get customers now and again wanting me to aerate their lawn, and it was hard for me to rent an aerator and, um, charge them at the same time to do the job, um, you know, it was expensive. So, if I would, you know, now, I could do one here, one there, you know, I don't have to wait and do them all at the same time, because there has been times in the past where I have done that, I put all my customers together, and um, they didn't want to wait that long, and they would find someone else to do it quicker. Um, so, that's why... I had to get this aerating machine because I couldn't just do one here, one there when a customer asked me. Um, this is a pretty good machine. I do have a few issues with it, but it is old and it's already paid for itself. Um, so I am happy with that machine. It's also a 26 inch um, aerator. Is if you can see it says turn aerator. If you would go buy this machine new, you'd be looking at over three thousand dollars. That's how much they were when they first came out. Now, I also want to talk about the X Mark 30 inch mower. Um, and I haven't had no drive um, problems with this mower. Okay, the transmission on this mower is still working fine. This is a, the commercial model. Okay, so I do think that there is a difference between the commercial model 30 inch mowers and the um, residential models because this I bought this used. Okay, this is a 2015. I bought this last year. Like I said, I bought it during winter time. I only paid $500 for this machine and um, I use it once a week, but for $500. I knew that um, I was getting a great deal no matter what. Um, now, as far as buying this machine brand new, I probably would not do that. I think the price is a little bit too high for a new X Mark 30. I think if the price was $1,400, okay, they could sell a lot more of these machines, okay? But I do think that it is a good machine. Now, if you want to be a solo operator and think that you can just take this machine and put it in the back of your truck, uh, you're wrong. You need two men to lift up this machine and put it in the back of a pickup truck. It's very, um, very heavy, okay? Um, I bought this used for $500. I haven't had no issues really besides I think the belt and that's it. So that's a pretty good machine. So let's talk about um, 
the 61 inch mower versus the 62 inch mower what should you buy um when you're first starting out i will tell you this i did buy i do have a 52 inch skag v ride and i also have a 61 inch skag v ride if i would redo it over again i bought the um when I bought these V rides, I bought the 52 inch new, brand new, and I bought the 61 inch machine used. Okay, um, now I will tell you this: the 61 inch V ride has a lot more power than the 52. So I'm, you know, um, I'm also assuming it's probably like it with all the other machines. So. I would definitely, if I were to spend a little bit of extra, uh, if I were to spend the thousand dollars, I would go ahead and upgrade to a 61 inch machine. Um, since I've owned this machine, this has been my primary mower. Um, the 52 inch machine, uh, I have some hydraulic issues with it. And it's just, you know, with the 52 inch uh, V-Ride, I always have to double cut and it's just um, I'm not buying a 52 again I'm gonna when I buy another mower if it's going to be brand new I would highly suggest buy a 61 inch machine so this is Don with Donovan Services if you have any questions about what I have here or, or just landscaping lawn care power washing in general just uh you know give me a uh, give me a chat and I can uh you know we can talk about it I've been doing this for quite a long time and I have um a lot of equipment so um I'm not the expert by any means but I have you know I've been doing this for years this is the only thing I do um I do also do power washing as well and um I'll get back to that in a later video thank you like and subscribe Thank you for uh, watching. Watch this. Okay. One, one pool this thing's going to start up for us.